Hello, hello, and welcome back. Probably the last one I'll do tonight, so not max salvage, uh, but this again is a defend the base, and if I can get the uh, optional objectives uh, online, that's that's significant increases in the pay. So I want to go with that. Uh, there were actually some bushwhackers, uh, four pieces. I believe they were like 650,000 each. I was extremely tempted to sell a bunch of things in order to go ahead and purchase two parts because I'm not that far off of from it. But that seems a little foolhardy of me, at least at this point in the game. Uh, I'm sitting comfortably on money and I'm really just trying to get myself something to replace the javelin right now. If I sacrifice the money to replace the javelin, uh, do I end up in kind of a bad situation uh, where I jump into another system where there's one or two missions and it barely covers my expenses? I'm, I'm just a little nervous that that is the type of situation I end up in. Command interface oh, oh, is this the map? Yep, we've seen this map before. We've seen this map not too long ago. Uh, are the enemies starting off? Yep, right next to the... Um, things again? Okay. Looks like we got a fire starter, 30 tonner, so another light. Uh, 35 ton, yeah, that's still light. Um, or excuse me, that's a heavy vehicle. And something else we don't see, but that's fine. Oh, you're not going to be able to... Yeah, you will. There you go. Maybe we'll draw some fire here away from those uh, those APCs right now. So I really want those turrets online. I'm just hoping there's not two lances that come at me on top of uh, what's out here. I guess we will find out shortly, though. So I think we're basically through the beginning phase of the game at this point. Usually once I hit, like, the one and a half skulls, I kind of consider it, well, um, we're basically into the uh, the game proper at that point. So in case these decide to move forward and try to take out these, I will probably swing... Wow, you had to start way back there, huh? I think we're going to actually reserve with this one. I hate to let the maybe the bases take some uh, beating from the other mech there, but I really want the Vindicator because I think it's going to be able to get a little farther Reserving if I don't block uh, that little hole right there. If I have to run around it, it uh, might not quite be as good. So SRM, SRM4, SRM6, double machine gun. Just out of curiosity, what's the other vehicle? Eh, at least the LRMs can uh, can fire over. So that's something. So let's see, Falcon. Yeah, he can he can get a little farther here. So I'm glad I did actually wait there. I, I kind of thought that might happen. Uh, where you're going way off road for some reason, huh? Why did you get to go again? Ooh, another 50 tonner. Okay, uh, it's it's fine so far. Uh, that was a 50 ton. That's another that's another medium though vehicle. Honestly, not a medium mech. A little sad, but, uh, yeah. It happens, I guess. On the move. Full speed. All right. Oh, we're gonna... Well, I'll be able to move out of the way next turn. I just... I've never seen a move off the road like that. They're usually very, very big sticklers about uh, not leaving the roads. I mean that's 50s, but I can't hit with the tag, and the tag is kind of, kind of important here, and that's still not range for the tag. Still not in range for the tag, really. I mean I guess we just walk, because it's really the tag that I want to hit with. I mean that's 56s, that's not bad. Ooh, two fusion core crits. Ah, there's a, there's a fusion core I want. Unfortunately, we'll probably blow it up at this point. Did we punch through the armor there? Just out of curiosity? 
We did. What's up, boss? I mean, I don't think that will be quite full evasion, but uh, we've already opened the front up. I don't see any point in chewing through that back there. Which leg is busted? The right leg? So is there any way I can... Nope. Oh wait, that is the right side. I'm, uh, I'm a little confused here. So yeah, I want to try to take the leg out. If I don't take the center. Oh, and I did manage to get the 7 evasion then. Alright. So down goes the fire starter. I actually don't think I have anybody to uh, take advantage of that, though. A little, little unfortunate. Okay, and the other one's a spider. Not a big deal. Yeah. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, engine destroyed, so yeah, bye bye 210 fusion core. <laughs> I almost had you. Not really, but uh. It's interesting to think that uh, I might have been close. Oh, and you got your rear armor because you went the backwards way. Thing is, I don't know what those are using to get sight right now. Everything should be really far out of sight right now. Oh, the spider. I forgot the spider was sitting up there. Um, just out of curiosity, can I get a decent shot on the spider? 38% chance to hit with the heavy PPC. I think we go for it. There we go. There's some serious damage. Alright, there's our turrets. And it has no evasion now, so it is in serious trouble, because there's a bunch of turrets here to honestly just beat it up nonstop. I think I might want to turn my Vindicator around at this point, because we there should be another Lance coming in. Uh, I don't think I'll have two Lances, but I, I might be wrong there. I think I'll have at least one more Lance coming in, though. And I would like to, because we've seen this map, they'll come over here, or probably down here. I kind of like to have my Vindicator a little closer after this turn. So, um... Oh, look at those hit chances. Look at those hit chances. Beautiful. And, of course, we take out another, uh, another fusion core. I'm just not seeing anything else that I really like here, so uh, I'm kind of keeping my eyes on you know what fusion cores and stuff pop up. Okay, so those vehicles have to come in. Commander. Do I actually just send my Venom because it is my fastest and it's my highest damage of my lights? Honestly, my, my Javelin's already back here. I could have him mostly up the hill. I think we do. I think we do. And that gives the turret something to fire at, if nothing else, here. So we got a striker, a uh, bunch of SRMs, LRM, LRM, couple SRMs, machine guns, large laser. I mean, I'm not getting as many hits here, but uh, I think we try to take the firepower off the field. So I think we, we go for the... Uh, Come on, ammo explosion, critical component hit, something, anything? Wow, that was terrible. Ready for orders. Hmm. Honestly, I think I just leave my spider over there. <laughs> I really do. Uh, so let's just go ahead and sprint. Unfortunately, I won't have my, my heavy firepower, very dodgy spider up here on the front line, but if we get the Vindicator up here before they pop, that would be worth it. 
Would have been nice to get some eyes on him, honestly, uh, prior to last turn, because those turrets might have done some work for me. Might have. So we're going to reserve, just try to let, uh, let the game see if it might be able to do anything here. So ASRM and A... I don't even know what the hell else you hit with. Okay, so there's a deep scan. That's nice. It's going to be hard to hit it on that far side, but come on, game. Just get lucky. It's basically impossible, but uh, we can always dream. Honestly, the cicada can probably take a shot, I'm going to be honest. Uh, just out of curiosity, what's the hits? Some 69s? I mean, unless that brings the other ones, yeah. Oh, vital component destroyed. So we took out the engine. Beautiful internal combustion engine gone. Good, and we've already got two mechs kind of coming back. Is that two lances, though, or is that going to be one lance? Looks like one lance, but it looks like uh, only a single light and everything else is mediums. Okay. Waiting for orders. Interesting, interesting. So we definitely want the back shot. Location confirmed. Try, to, try to really lay some damage into this thing. There we go. And my Venom is my fast one. It'll be able to cool down as I sprint from one side of the map literally to the other. Let's uh let's take a peek. Oh, there is Oh, there is two lances. There is two lances still. Oh no. Well. Okay, well, hopefully we'll be able to kill everything and protect the uh, the buildings. We'll see. We'll see. I will be done. I mean, I... 23... I have no idea what the hit chances are down. Here are 45 ton, 55, 55... Ooh, there's uh, there's a bunch of heavies down here. What, uh, what does the fire truck have on it? Narc beacon. Ooh. So thankfully everything should be flipping around to that side. Let's see. There's one of the vehicles. Where the hell is the other one? Okay. So hopefully it will get up here on the hill. We're gonna reserve back. Let them uh, kind of do their thing here. I'm really hoping they take that narc beacon out, and I can get a better shot on something with that heavy PPC. So the Narc Beacon, that pulls off two evasion pips. That's a good, that that's going to help. Is it going to help enough to really take it out? I don't know. Ooh. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, four in again, okay. Yeah, you didn't really... Oh, we got a head hit, though. That's interesting. Uh, what else do we have coming up on this side? Uh, chariot. Wow, ooh, Thunderbolt. Very hard to hit. Single big missile, basically. All right, so... 51% chance to drop the fire truck. I think we go with it. Well, I don't know. Is that even going to drop it? Yes. So I just need to hit, and that will take out the narc beacon. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know about strike one. I would say, like, strike 36. But what do I know? Um, hmm. They'll only get one that gets to go, and then my cicada can go and move back, fire, and then move back. So I think we're fine with that. We'll be able to get eyes on everything down here. We got a Kentaro. We got a Vindicator. What kind of Vindicator? 
honestly, oh, we have PPC. That's, uh, that's not too bad. Tag and Narc Beacon on the Kentaro, though. I would love to have a Kentaro. And another Shadow Hawk. Uh, the Shadow Hawk, pretty low on the armor. Honestly, Vindicator as well. Kentaro is, for a medium mech, just look at the amount of armor that thing has. 840, just like... the. It's so slow and it's so heat inefficient, but... Damn, does that thing, uh... I mean, I really would like to make sure the Shadow Hawk dies? Well, what's our hit chances here? Oh, and the, uh, the Vindicator shot. That's what fired, so... We do want to go for the Vindicator, because I have very good hit chances here. Target acquired. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm wondering now if I shouldn't have tried to get my Vindicate with some up on this ridge, see if I could maybe have done it. Uh, what do we got a salad in? Ultra AC-20. Oof. Ready for order. Um... Not quite the range, huh? Um, I mean, that's 64s. It's still 64s, and I'm very evasive after that. That Narc Beacon kind of scares me off the, uh, the Kentaro, though. Well, the other thing is, can I really maybe pop the fire truck before it gets to go? Um, hmm. I don't think so. I do not think so at all. Oh, is there somewhere where I can maybe just not take so many hits? <laughs> Does not look like it. Um, hmm. All right, so the javelin may get beat up a little bit here, but we're we're going for it. Going for the gold. Come on, take the leg out, take the leg out, take the leg out. Okay, that's not the leg. Uh, PPC, though, losing a little accuracy with the arm destruction uh, there. These turrets are not going to last. Uh, they are going to get absolutely destroyed. You. Morphium, quickly fly like the wind. Mm, the Shadowhawk's definitely got to go down, because if it drops two pieces, I will then be able to have a Shadowhawk, and I would really like that a lot. So again, Vindicator has not moved. We're going to take the shot, and then we'll probably reposition. Okay, there's some good stuff right there. Um, and then I think we just... I mean, the, the Cicada, do I really... Do I put it... It's got 715 armor. It's just got to... It's got to tank a little bit. There is just too much out there. Don't shoot at that. Shoot at the... Shoot at the one I've been beating up. Oh, you're such a bad... Bad decision maker, AI. Okay, turret down. It's unfortunate, but uh, definitely not unexpected. Two mechs on this side, too. Oh, there's another... Oh, that's right, the... Uh, the Hunchback. It's not a Swayback, but... Uh, 26... I mean, I think I just let the buildings... Well... <coughs> Sorry about that. I think I just have to let it go. And I think I've got to bring... I think I've got to bring him down here to try to deal with all of this. Uh, still very... Lot of, a ton of armor. Very evasive. This is where all the firepower is at, though. So I am... 
honestly a little scared for my mech. I don't know what's uh, what's my chances of popping the uh, the vindicator that I've already beaten up a lot. Not great. I mean that doesn't look like any difference in evasion. Six percent on the PPC. Oh, that's much worse. Oh, decisions, decisions. Um, the Kentaro only a 26. You know what we do? We reserve this back and we try to figure out if one of these has a low evasion. And we just go for whatever's prime. Maybe they'll uh, even drop uh, some deep sensors or something out here to really make something a little more vulnerable. Okay, a couple shots on the Javelin to be expected. Come on, do a, do a deep sensor lock on that uh, Shadowhawk right there. Because I definitely want that to go down, even if, we, uh, if we're if we going to complete this mission. Uh, it's something that's got to happen. Oh, thank goodness it did not narc me or tag me. Come on, deep scan, deep scan. You're on the backside. You've got to be able to see one of them. Uh, I guess the Kentaro would even be good. Get rid of that Narc, get rid of that Tag. Uh, you're going to do the... What the hell is that? The Hunchback? I mean, that stuff's far enough back where I'm less worried about it. Yeah, there's that 60 damage Thunderhead. Okay, um... Hmm... Uh, 44. So that brings me down to a 38. But I, then I can start closing in on melee. Oof, I don't know. So many, so many decisions here. I think... Do I really pray for a, uh... A headshot on the Hunchback again? But still, 64% chance with that heavy PPC. It's not going to quite take it out in the center, but, uh, significant damage. Uh, if I hit, of course. So we'll try to have the Vindicator block those buildings just a little bit. I probably should have taken out the truck that's spotting. Ultra AC-20 has to go down quickly, too. There's, there's just so many priority targets here. Um, well, you just take the shot, little Venom. Uh, anything you can possibly try to get a shot on. Roger that. I, I will say that Shadowhawk's got to go down five more rounds. I don't think I have the firepower to kill everything. I think I just have to run out the clock here. Uh, what's the Shadowhawk look like in the back? That is ridiculously weak. Uh, can I can I get behind it without sprinting? Because hit chances matter to me right now. I mean, those are 75s. We're going to try to really damage the Shadowhawk. Uh, I don't think I have quite... I do have 6 evasion. Good, I'm at full evasion too. Oh, nothing. And I have nobody else that's really fast to get around there either. Sad, sad days. Alright, Cicada, what can you do? What can you do indeed? Um, <laughs> I mean, we can really try to take the leg out and maybe do a little damage to the torso on the Vindicator? I mean, that Kentaro is really close too, but... I mean, do I want to start punching through the front armor on that thing? I think we go for the Kentaro. That's the best hit chances. Uh, 
Oh, that was probably a terrible idea. So we're going to try to keep some distance, but keep some movement up, because we still have an ECM on that cicada, and it's still got plenty of armor. Okay, structure exposed. This thing does have a lot of missiles. Maybe we're digging for an ammo explosion. You can't do it, Shadowhawk. You just can't do it. I'm far too evasive. I'm your spaniel. Um, just out of curiosity, a 70% hit chance. And if I move forward... Um, apparently I don't have a shot. Uh, if I sprint forward... That's far less. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. Only 95 damage. See, the damage seems to... Vi oh, wait, that's 126. I mean, that doesn't even begin to punch through a hunchback. Uh, what I could hope for is some ammo explosions or something. Or maybe to soften it up. The thing is, I've got like three soft targets over here. Sixty-six, seventy-two, and wherever I hit it, that Ultra AC-20 goes down. I think we just do it. Try to take this side out and then sweep around towards the other side. We're kind of leaving some buildings to be destroyed here, though. Yeah, and they got back shots on you now, but uh, nothing I can do about it. Okay, hand destroyed. That's... Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Really, you're not gonna... Oh, you have Ace Pilot, excuse me. So you fired the LRMs there, probably. Oh, target acquired. That's what I really don't need right now. It would have been better if he had target acquired like my Cicada that's sitting kind of off by itself. Rear attack, but uh, I've definitely neutered that Vindicator. I really wish you'd quit shooting the Hunchback for now. Help me, help me kill the priority targets AI, and then we'll we'll worry about other things. Okay, actually, if they're gonna attack the Vindicator, I'm fine with that. I am really good with that. Come on, take that arm out. Take the oh. Ooh, LRM-15 uh, plus crit. Hmm, I think my Venom might be able to really maybe shred that? Another Thunderbolt, I don't know if it damaged, I don't believe so. Good to go. And if I sprint kind of behind you, uh, 75s, whoops. I'm just not seeing the dots here for some reason. That's still 75s, but that really kind of puts you in the line of fire of everything over there. I think we torso twist as much as we... It's my right arm that's been kind of damaged, so yeah, we torso twist the right towards the Shadowhawk. Try to get another, another good back hit here. Hopefully uh, some crits here. That was terrible. <laughs> okay. Four rounds left and we haven't taken out anything. No buildings destroyed yet, though. I just don't have the firepower, I think, to uh, take out this many heavies. Okay, so we want best hit chances, so we are uh, running. It's the upper right, so... Which direction are you facing, Kentaro? Yeah, so I want to be on this side. Uh, try to get an ammo explosion here or something. Because we do have that one side opened up already. Oops. Copy that. Bunch of fusion core crits. And you can see like these Big Macs have like fusion core 300s. I don't have anything like that yet. So it's lost, it's evasive, but I'm out of uh, light mechs now at this point, so, yeah. Fat luck there. Oh, but maybe the cicada? Yes, Commander. 
little cicada, can you get a back shot? You can. Unfortunately, we're going to have to come in a little close here, but that's all right. Oh, we got a knockdown. Good stuff. Unfortunately, the back is what's... Oh, engine destroyed. Beautiful. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, yeah, that's right. Focus on the Shadowhawk a little bit. I wish you'd take the arm off, though, when you do that. Honestly, the Vindicator would be pretty good, too. Oh, that Shadowhawk's just, uh... I think the Vindicator's really slow right now. I think I might try to take the Vindicator next? I definitely think my Vindicator's moving uh, sides here, though. Uh, just if we shoot, that's a 57... That's a 44. Um, <laughs> I, I need the evasion. I have to have some evasion up. This will still give me a fair amount. And if I hit here on the uh, very slow hunchback, that'll be good. We'll take some firepower off. Ooh, that hit something good. good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, now you need to actually fire at the uh, the hunchback. It's it's opened up on the side there. Ooh, my javelin not quite punished, but uh, I was getting worried there for a moment. Are you running hot or something? I can't see. No, I don't think it was running hot at all. Mm, still didn't take the leg out on that. That's unfortunate. You're going to target the building that hasn't been damaged at all. That is so smart of you, AI. So smart. Okay, there we go. So once you hit that resolve at 50%, you gain plus two bonus accuracy for all attacks. So we need to really utilize that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for any real pushbacks or anything here. This is all about uh, this is all about me trying to just wipe some of these mechs out. We're gonna push the heat scales here too. Lost the evasive, and then we're going to go ahead and oh wait, I still could have got a back attack on that with just a movement. Oh, now I'm a sad panda. Now I'm a very sad panda. Okay, we got morphium. Hmm. I mean, Morpheum's very, very quick. It's the left, and I think that's the left. Okay, but can I maybe take the Vindicator instead with a back shot? Where is your back? Okay, so I can't get... Oh, I can get a back shot. Just not as close as I'd like. I think we go for it. Uh, we just got to try to wipe something out here. Bunch of fusion core crits, but no stability. Panic level critical, though. Uh, just shoot him a few more times. No, don't deep scan right now. Just shoot the Vindicator. Uh, before it moves, which you did not. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Waiting for orders. I mean, there's nothing there that's really a back shot. What can I, what can I shoot? Panic level's critical. We might be able to get an eject even if we don't get a kill here. There we go, though. Kill. Shift him to the other side. I'm literally just going to leave the uh, javelin to clean up the shadow hawk at this point. Affirmative. Uh, the shadow hawk's the one thing I have to have die. So I'm hoping the AI will help me a little bit here.
Ooh, 55. Okay, so it didn't quite punch through the leg, but, uh... Took a hard hit there. But that was... Ooh, I might actually use the utilize the Venom to do that. So, uh, Hunchback, you're looking in pretty bad shape. Uh, what's the hit chance with that PPC? Still 59. Just out of curiosity, though, if I melee you and then say... Go right to the back. That's a lot of damage, and those are very good hit chances. So we're gonna really try to give that ace or the heavy PPC a bit of time to uh, revive, and a bunch of damage pushed through to the center. AC5 ammo jettisoned. Great. We got the knockdown. Honestly, the front. Uh, there's still a lot of armor on the front, so we kind of want the back shot on that. That's a little unfortunate on the knockdown. Come on, guys. Shoot that. Shoot the Shadowhawk. Please! Its back is to you. Because I really need it to go down. It's got a, uh, a bunch of armor. A bunch of structure underneath. Ooh, double acid. Uh, gotta be a little careful then. Okay. Um, hmm. I, th I think I have to use the Venom here. I only have two turns left to kill everything uh, so that I can get that bonus. So if I really... But the Shadowhawk's the important part. Yeah. I mean, we just push the heat skill. We're going to try to take it with the slower, not as heavy hitter right here. Unsteady. Okay, so it lost its evasion. I mean, I really hate to... Uh, I have the ace pilot, so I can kind of get back in position, I guess. Hmm. I think we maybe go with an offensive push... That way the turrets might get some back shots too, since it's completely opened up in the back and I still have very good hit chances. There we go. It's down, now I can run. Uh, honestly, with one turn left, I don't think I can take take everything that's left over there, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Come on, take some shots. No deep scans at this point. Thankfully, those Thunderbolts are pretty inaccurate, but they are quite deadly when they do hit. Okay, so I got two mechs, and then all four one more time. Uh, did that give me... Did that lose my 50? No, it didn't, so I still have my accuracy bonus here. So we got the Chariot. That's a terrible target. Doesn't look like I can really take it. Oh, we, we actually took the, uh, the Hunchback down? No, no way. Okay, that urban mech's not really moving, so I think we try to take the Urby, and then step on the chariot, and then everything else on the fire truck next turn. Oh well, and the Urby too. And I basically miss everything on the urban mech. Wow, I, I didn't even notice me take the uh, taking the. Uh, All right, this is pretty much guaranteed, so, uh, 162 damage. I really want the extra money off of this. I think it's an extra 10 or 20%. It might be the 20% for this one. Okay, um, hmm. Homing beacon, that stinks, but uh, just with the AC-10, I don't think they can take advantage of it. So we're going to see... Ooh, I can't quite get into... So we're going to see if the urban mech might turn its back to fire at my Vindicator. So we're going to reserve right here, because that would be so good to be able to shoot the back of it instead. 
just like it does. Thank you, little Urbian mech. Uh, between my mechs and the turrets, I might be able to take it now. I hope, I hope, I hope. I'm honestly wondering if this is not a bad idea. Eh, it can't be that bad. I hope I can get my Venom into place too, to be honest. Oh, a knockdown. Okay, okay, this is looking very good so far. Hmm. <laughs> let's uh let's just see Medusa because I don't think Medusa I don't think Medusa can fire on anything but the urban mech and I think I barely get range. So that is all correct. So we'll we'll take the shot with the javelin just because I can't oh there's nothing to hit in the back at this point though. That almost kind of, that knockdown almost kind of hurts me now. So, just go for the center torso. Still got still got a hit in, though. That's impressive. No, don't deep scan. Shoot right now, please. Take out the fire truck if you can. What's up, boss? Okay, 84s. 71% uh, chance on the torso. We basically miss with everything, so that stinks. Uh, we'll go ahead and move forward again. Not really going to matter. I was going to try to use my big guy to stomp the, the fire truck there. Unless you can kill the fire truck, you got two moves left there. Let's reserve and just see what the AI does. Come on, ammo explosion, ammo explosion, ammo explosion, ammo explosion. Engine destroyed. Thank you, AI. Thank you. I guess the knockdown worked out barely. So we don't have a guaranteed kill here, but it's very, very good, so... That will teach uh, the forces of Merrick to deal with the Capellian Confederation. Space Commies win this round. <laughs> I can't believe I got them all, though. I'm so excited now. That was that would be something I would I don't think I could manage to do again, even if I tried. Now the thing is, I really hope there's two Shadowhawk parts, even if they're not the the other Shadowhawk that I have. Shadowhawk, I think, would fit quite well in place of the Javelin, although if there's fusion cores here, I really need a good fusion core. So yeah, uh, extra 30% is all we got out of it, so good stuff, but uh, hey, 30% is 30%. That is uh, pretty decent overall. We did take some damage on pretty much everything, so that's alright, though. That's That's perfectly fine. That cicada actually put in some work that round. I had to bring it in close. Maybe that's what I need to start doing. So, uh, wow, so many Kentaro parts. Do I do I really go for it? There's so much here that I just don't think it's going to happen. Uh, so there's only one Shadowhawk part. Boo. Um, well, then if I see one in the shop, I'll and I have the the money for it, I'll buy it. Let's see what else we have here, though. Uh, high infusion cores is something I'm looking for. Plus one accuracy. Would that be better than the plus damages that I have? I think that might be an upgrade for five damage, but uh, I think they're hotter? Hmm. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, another PPC. That would be nice. SRM6++, plus pluses. these are uh, the plus two accuracy version. SRM6 is not the most accurate weapon, so honestly, those would be uh, very good. I'm not going to pick them. Did I not go for full salvage this time? I did not, because I wanted a bunch of money, too. So here's the Thunderbolt, and 
This is a Thunderbolt 15. As you can see, it's uh, 60 damage, but uh, this one actually has plus accuracy. It's a little surprise. Ultra AC 20. I mean, 16 tons is so much, but 90 damage times 2. Uh, case 2's here. Um, that would really let me feel safe bringing my uh, Cicada a lot closer, if I'm going to be honest. Endo Steel. Got a 215 fusion core, so I think we need this so when we do get a a medium mech, we're not stuck with like a 160 on it or something, where it basically can't move. Uh, because that is not how we are playing our lances at all. A few Artemides ammo, especially on the SRM, is interesting, but not good enough to take. So I think, yeah, I think we got to go for the fusion core 215, because we should be getting a good medium soon. And the case 2 will really let me pull the Cicada in and start putting out some damage. I mean, there's there's a lot of mechs up here. Uh, we already have two parts of the Hunchback. And there's five parts of the Kentaro, but... Uh, I, I don't think it's worth more than the case 2. And I don't feel like spending uh, a fifth of my money on a case 2. I, I forget what they are. They might even be like 280000 Just some ridiculous number. Uh, no, it says it's only worth 250 Well, I pay a little bit more of a premium because I'm not uh, up there yet. So, yeah, I think that's what we go with. And I, I, I'm not real great with the hunchbacks, at least with this type of lance. Honestly, I probably wouldn't be real good with the guitaros with this type of lance. But we will hope for those or maybe another Vindicator would be nice. Come on, what do we got here? What do we got? Ten extra salvage. Uh, one Kentaro, another Hunchback piece, another piece of an Urban Mech. Uh, that would have been cool to get the Ultra AC. Oh, we did get the Ultra AC 20. Can't use it, but it's good to have right now. Um, and we got the Fusion Core 200. That went extreme. I, sh I guess I should have said the other uh, Fusion Core and the Ultra AC would be something I would definitely want. We got it. So, oh man, I'm happy now. That was. That was quite good. I'm not seeing many advanced materials, though, like I was in the uh, Half Skull and One Skull missions. Quite a few advanced materials out here. Not seeing them since we moved the weight class up, though. Still plenty of lights, so time to time to find them will come. Ooh, that was nice, and I think we got about like another half million there, so... And that should be the end of here. So that should cover basically my travel expenses to leave me floating a million. And if I happen to see a Shadowhawk part, I could definitely scoop that stuff up uh, very, very quickly. So I would be extremely happy. I do wish I knew what made the missions change, because occasionally more missions do pop up. I don't know if that happens like on a timer or a timer inside the game. So many months have to pass before new missions pop up. Because I kind of like to maybe jump into uh, the Free Worlds League in front of me here. It looks like Steiner took a couple, but uh, Karita is still fighting back. Alright, so um, what do we get? So here's the Shadowhawk. Oh. Did we already have four pieces? Was that the 5S even? Was that the same type we had? I don't know. Oh, I'm so happy now. I'm so happy. Uh but only four days of repairs for all of that. You gotta love the stealth armors. You gotta love... It really requires, I think, a little bit of position, and I haven't always used them to the best effect, balancing the the shots versus the evasion. Uh, but I am extremely happy now. Uh, I do wish I knew which... Oh, wait, did I have a second Shadowhawk? I did, of a different type. No? Yes? Maybe? Because, yeah, I didn't have any four. I think I had two Shadowhawk types. I think that's the type where I was saying earlier I didn't know which type you ended up with. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a peek and see how much of this is blown to little tiny bits, though. Uh, pretty much all of it. Pretty much all of it. So, 275 Fusion Core. Yeah, I don't. I don't have that. I don't have... I don't have an XL engine right now. Yeah, I don't have an XL engine. 
a uh, couple medium later lasers triple plus uh, well I do have the endo steel though didn't this thing have a no that was the vindicator that had the PPC what do you have on you for weapons uh, double heat sink bloodhound probe yeah that's uh, I could care less about that I would be pulling that off anyways and uh, the Angel ECM's gone. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Uh, but here we've got a 55 tonner that uh, I can do a fair amount with. Uh, let's let's double check our, our uh, fusion cores down here. So I'm really glad I got a 215 here. Just out of curiosity, standard heat sinks uh, eight. So we had normally two medium lasers, an acid gun, angel ECM. I don't think I have another ECM right now, which is unfortunate. I kept saying I need to take one, I need to take one, I need to take one. Well, too late now. So that's uh, four lasers, a large laser, another medium. So five mediums and a large. Well, I mean, get the... Uh, Get the ECM. I, I should have taken one of the ECMs when it popped earlier. Should have, should have, should have. I'm not taking really much damage, and I'm cycling the pilots, though. Do I just go ahead and strip one of my pilots? Uh, the Javelin, basically. Uh, because this thing... This thing should be able to really... Do the Javelin's job and uh, a bit more with with just more more weight to do and stuff so let's just let's just repair all right so we've got the fusion core then we throw on the endo steel here whoa how much did that save me 41 and a half so three tons on the nose okay uh, comes with a tag does I wonder if there's any quirks on this Mac Ah, uh, you can't see the quirks there. So by the time I drop on an ECM, uh, a bunch of lasers. Uh, this would just have the stealth because I don't have another uh, null uh, signature system. I still have a double heat sink on. In fact, I've got a bunch of double heat sinks. If heat's a problem on this, I have no problem using this heat sink kit. Now, I don't know this for sure. But I'm thinking, did I not put a mech? I think I started this game with five mechs, and I think one of them had actually a double heat sink uh, fusion core. We're going to actually, whoops, wrong thing, check the storage, go to the lights. Yes, the uh, the stinger here. Um, so I think the stinger probably had a... Uh, heat sink, uh, double heat sink engine, and I'm thinking when I took it off, it probably just gave me a kit to, because I, I didn't have that at the beginning. I remember showing, look, I don't have the Angel ECM, I don't have the stealth suits, or stealth, I don't have the uh, null signatures, I don't have the uh, Warframe suite, all those, and that was not in my inventory at that point. The only thing that I really did, because I didn't loot it anywhere, is I stuck this guy into here. I'm actually fine turning those into double heat sinks for a medium. I just, uh, the, the only one that really could have used it would have been, oh, I'm already here, never mind, would have been the Javelin. And let's be honest, I'm not doing that for the Javelin. Ooh, this will give me a Fusion Core 275 as well. Uh, I think the 275 is what you have? You do. Ooh. Wait, I'm, I'm, line. I don't know what this has, because it's uh, being worked on. Anyways, uh, I guess this is a great place to stop, because I've got a ton of things to look at, because I'm going to get the Shadowhawk up and running, try to figure out what kind of things I can do with it, and I'm probably, since we're going to be traveling around, I'll probably throw a case on that cicada. Since I've got it armored up, I'm going to have to take an, a ton of armor off of it. That's the thing. Uh, but if I have the case, I'll feel much better about it actually going out there and, and putting in a little work. Unfortunately, the Shadowhawk will be replacing the Javelin at this point. I, I just think that's the, the more solid choice. Anyways, 
Uh, thanks for watching as always, everybody. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, and uh, until next time.